So the first stretch is gonna be just a regular sit and reach stretch. What you're gonna do is what I always like to do is just kind of pull your shoulders back, inhale in, and then just a nice easy stretch down to your toes. And inhale in, exhale, and as you get a couple reps of this, you'll be able to get a little bit longer and stretch the hamstrings a little bit deeper, but start with a shorter range of motion and then go longer and farther after that. The next one will be for your adductors for the inside, if you're working side to side, where you'll pull your heels in as close as you can uh, to your butt. And then I would like to just kind of grab my toes and just sit up tall. Just a nice easy inhale in and slow exhale out. And the next one you'll be out wide and like a V, so this is going to help get the hamstrings and the adductors again. I like using, going with these back to back. So just inhale in, stretch down to one side. I like to use both hands, just kind of letting the body pull toward your chest, pull towards your quads. And then you go other side. Like the last time as you lengthen out, you can go a little bit farther in the stretch. And then the last one, you'll go middle. This will kind of feel a little low back stretch as well. And next, we'll get one for the glutes. So what you're going to do is you're going to get back in kind of that sit and reach position. You're gonna pull right leg over left and vice versa. And then you're gonna pull that heel in. So the closer that you get and then hands go back. Um, I always kinda like to have my hands sideways and then just pull my shoulders back, get a little chest in there. The closer you get your heel to your butt and the higher that you sit up straight, the more you're gonna get your glutes, um, more intense of a stretch. So again, start with you know a little less of a heel back. Um, and I always like to sit up tall in this one. And then to release, you just slide it out, come back, other leg comes up, slides into it. Slide it out. The next one you'll be kneeling, so to come up, you have one knee back, then whatever knee you have down, you're going to slide the hand, come up. I like to do a little back bend, keep your core tight, and then you're gonna stretch your quad and your hip flexor. Just nice and tall on this. All these just nice deep inhales and exhales. And a switch. Oh, I always like nice a deep plant into the heel. Get your glute squeezing on this side to stabilize you as your anchor. again. So you come back to kneeling and at all fours position. I like to pull my shoulders back, get nice and stable, kick the leg out. And then instead of looking like down or completely up with your chin, just try and kind of relax the chin, kind of like a neutral tuck. Just kind of looking out maybe a little bit in front of your hands. Just relax the neck and the upper body. Switch sides. I like to call this one the goalie stretch because it's one that you always see hockey goalies do before in warm-ups. Sliding across the ice, anything you do side to side, this will be a good stretch for. And your last one, and a really challenging hamstring stretch that some of you might not be able to get, but it's okay. You're going to kick one leg out. You're going to kind of do a little push back at your hips. And if you need, the easiest variation is going to be if you can get the hand down to be a kickstand, you're going to have the top hand on here. If that's easy for you, you can go both hands on here. And then if you want a little calf in there, or can get this, you're going to take that hand of the same leg, pull the toe just gently, and this is going to get your calf stretch in there. It's a lot of tension on the back side, so be careful. This is an intense stretch, so I wouldn't recommend this for uh, beginners, especially if you have bad balance. Side. Get 
how long. I always start by just kind of planting, maybe you get in the kickstand. And as you feel more comfortable with it. And then just come up nice and tall. I always like to get in here, you know, think of a child's pose really as a stretch for your uh, legs, but you know, it'll kind of loosen up your low back and your glutes. So I just kind of push your hips back into your heels, stretch your shoulders up to your ears. Just relax out, get the tension out of the neck. I always like to inhale in and exhale forward and come down to your lying down position. And then I always like to use my forearm as a pillow. Drop the head in, pull that heel towards your butt. Again, I always like to kind of keep the, the hip pressed in, glute nice and tight, so you're kind of pushing the hip back. into your downward dog. No, I just think like you're pushing your chest into your chest into your uh, thigh or your quads there. Deep inhales in, exhale it out. And then one last quad one that you can do. Going forward, so you have one leg bent, pulling this leg back. And then the one thing I kind of do here is I always like to lean on this hand for kind of a kickstand. Before you pull this leg back farther to get a deeper stretch, I always like to kind of squeeze the boot, push it forward. And switch. So for any of these stretches, I always like to, you can have hold for 30 to seconds to one minute or shorter. I always suggest starting shorter and um, holding for longer. Some things that I'll do too is hold for four breaths, um, but there's no perfect number. And certainly you can go through this routine multiple times, not just once. And that's your runner stretch for, or your lower body stretch. I always like it for running. Um, any sort of lower body workout or just to start up from the ground up.